we call this area the throat, but in fact it includes a number of different parts. The thyroid gland, trachea, nasopharynx, oropharynx, larynx and esophagus. At the top of the throat is the nasopharynx, or the back of the nose. When we breathe in, air passes through the nasopharynx into the lungs. The next part of the throat is the oropharynx, or the back of the mouth. It includes the soft palate, the back wall of the throat, the tonsils, and the back part of the tongue. The larynx, or voice box, is the part of the throat that contains the epiglossis and the vocal cords. As we breathe in, air moves through the vocal cords to make sound. When we swallow, the epiglottis closes to prevent food or liquid entering the airway, allowing the food to pass into the esophagus, or food pipe. Surrounding the larynx is the hypopharynx, and on either side of the larynx are the piriform sinuses. They help to channel food into the esophagus. The trachea, or windpipe, starts in the throat area. It's the tube that air moves through as it passes in and out of the lungs. The thyroid gland sits just below the larynx, in front of the trachea. It makes hormones that help the body to work normally. The parathyroid glands are just behind the thyroid gland. They help control the amount of calcium in the body. And finally, there are lymph glands throughout this part of the body. Our lymph glands are part of our immune system and help us to fight infections. For more information about cancers that can start in the throat and symptoms of throat cancer, go to cruk.org throat.